From the right circle, deflected in wide. Appendino a drive in wide. Well, they keep peppering. They haven't been able to hit the net yet. Pass for Fairmouth. Quick one-timer denied. One of those shots went through. 8-1. Shots on goal. Des Moines skater goes down. Big hit that time and shaken up is Mac Welsher. And here we go. A fight right at the end of the whistle. It's Fairmouth. And Fairmouth going with Sam Redland. And he got two or three good shots in there. And they'll both go in and sit for a while. Fighting penalties, five and five and ten apiece for Fairmouth and Renlin for their go around earlier. They declare a winner. They say Fairmouth. Here's Rancleb. Rancleb pass Mitten in the slot. A shot and a goal. And Fargo strikes first. One nothing for us. Ready feed. Rancleb the second for Ross Mitten. Rancleb is fourth assist as they did last night. The first goal of the home team. One nothing Fargo. Fairly similar on her flight activities. Big group of Girl Scouts here as well. At Shields Arena, they'll be auctioning off the underflight jerseys, which the team is wearing tonight. Had a lot of great, goal, uh, great opportunity as well as they pass in front, and Paquette hammers home the goal to tie it up. Tyler Paquette gets the goal to tie it up at one apiece. Puck got battered around. And got deflected in front. We'll get a closer look at it at the bank of the on the bank of the West replay. And there's a look at it right there. Puck line along the end boards. Bolson hu hustling after it. And I think it was Bolson that got the feed. Actually got kicked back in front by one of the four skaters for Paquette. It was ready, ready and willing. Right off the draw. Kessel rings. Des Moines wins the faceoff. 21-9. Shots on goal in favor of Fargo. Carried in by the Bucks. Lebster. That candid has a save by Bishop with a rebound. Tipped home, and the Bucks grab the lead. Sam Renlin scooped up the loose change and just sliding it past Ryan Bishop. And Des Moines grabs the lead at 2-1, and it's starting to look like last night. Where Des Moines trying to control things in the second period. You can see it. Luke Manning started it off. There's Lebster right off the half wall. Bishop to save, and... Racing in Renlin. Get the overhead view. I think he just zipped past the defense in front. And Bishel made that first save. Yeah, Renlin have outscored their opponents plus 10. You compare that to Fargo, minus 6 and minus 1 in the final two periods, respectively. Pass in front and a shot and a great save by Bishel. He denies TJ Walsh. 8 10 to go, second period. A 2 1 lead. Fargo just four shots on goal in the period. Pass connects. As a nice move in, shot, save made by Ryan Bischel. Mac Welsher, down the end of the door, step and denied by Mischel. By Huglin. Eric Huglin, the Roseau, Minnesota product. Renlin, at the half wall. Seven and a half to go in the second, through center. Nice move, Manning. Manning works in, goes top shelf, right over the shoulder of Bischel and scores. 3 1 bucks. Boy, a pretty move. Able to shovel that one right over the shoulder. It would have been Bischel's, Bischel's left shoulder. And the Buccaneers, as they did last night, at three here in the second for the lead. As this goal comes at 11, make it 12-36 of period number two. We'll see it again. And he gets it down the right wing boards. Goes wide past Ugbekal and bottom of the circle. He did go to the forehand and, and turnover. Give away. Renlin, right circle. Back to the point. Back for Renlin. Final seconds of the second period. Renlin down low. Harassed by Drobot. Batted up into the air and wide of the goal. Down to five seconds left. Fargo clears it out. And that will end the second period. And there's, there's trouble right in front of the Fargo net. And we'll see. Now there's, there's a couple of different skirmishes. Manning going after one of the four skaters in front of the net. A.J. Drobot is tangled up with Sam Redland. And Redland's already had plenty of penalty time on his own. His, this was bubbling over towards the final seconds. As the officials trying to separate two different uh, skirmishes. Redland and A.J. Drobot. Are separated back behind the net. Here's the Bank of the West replay. There you see Renlin and Drobot shoved Renlin into the net on Ryan Bischel. That was on the final seconds, and Bischel saying, 
This is my territory. Get out of there. And Drobot just kept harassing him, and Renlund said, fine. Fans, do not throw anything on the ice. Thank you. Well, there's there's about four of those loose pucks, Bob. They didn't they didn't uh, they didn't hear your advice right away. As there you see the one skirmish behind the plays. Drobot and Renly continued on. AJ got a couple of shots in. And here you see the activity in front of the net didn't really amount to much, but good time to try and get within one here for Fargo. 34 seconds in the slashing call. Carmichael. Hello, Rancliffe. Quick feedback for Connor Mayer. Back for Rancliffe. Tic tac toe. Shot and a goal. Mason Mancinelli, and it's a one goal game. Michael Mancinelli on the goal. Beg your pardon, and it's 3 2. And the pretty feed. Rancliffe will get his second assist of the night. Room getting the call tonight. Getting Roman Durney a night off. Intercepted Ugbakyle. Fires a shot from the point high and wide. It's right circle. Back to Rugbekeil. He grips it, rips it again. Throws it on net, and it's loose in the crease and hammering it home. Nodler, high game. Durham made the save and went behind him. It came to rest in the crease, and it was a race to see if somebody for the home team could bat it home. Josh Nodler said, "Yes, sir." His fourth of the year. We're tied, three apiece. Like to get that second one. And a golden opportunity. Manning will take the draw. Des Moines penalty assessed to number two. Crone. Proctor, two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty at 27 seconds. Quick shot, and in for a goal on the winner! <laughs> Myers the winner, eight seconds. And with a power play, and it's an overtime win for Fargo. Myers is 10th of the year, right off the draw. And the force. And the five-game winning streak for Des Moines, 4-3 your final.